found out that the payload wasn't quite as much as we thought it might be. I think it was just cutting it a little bit too fine, a bit too close for comfort, eh? Yeah, I think that was it. We just don't want to get caught out. It's a big decision. So we're like midway through the build. We're going to get it weighed and see where we are on that. So I'm a little bit nervous. This is like make <laughs> or break. Oh no, I'm scared. I'm terrified. Huh? I'm scared. Okay. I feel like it's not good news. <laughs> you are ready. Let's go. Right, so I'm sure a few of you are quite happy to see Charlie on your screens today because he's been absent from the last few videos. He's had a little bit of a sore leg, so he's been, been resting that up. Um, but the, the bigger thing that you guys have probably been worried about is the fact that we have discussed the possibility that we might have to rehome him due to his real bad travel anxiety, which is a bad sort of fit for our lifestyle of full-time travel. Now, we have tried so many things, as you already know, and the last thing we were trying was the CBD oil. Now, unfortunately, that hasn't worked either. The only thing that did was give him really bad gas. As you can imagine, in a van, the, the you know, bad dog farts, they're bad. They don't go anywhere, they just linger. So he's off that now, and I'm hoping the farts get better. Um, but yeah, we've just decided that he is staying with us and we're just going to make traveling as comfortable as possible for him. And there are some travel sickness tablets that we tried last year when we went out to France. They only give us two, um, but we're going to be trying them again because they did seem to have a little bit of an effect and we'll just make sure we're stocked up on those and use them for the longer journeys. Now, I just want to take a moment to thank this week's sponsor, Y Food. Now, this is a ready to drink complete meal that packs in all your essential vitamins and minerals. And I have one of these every morning for breakfast because I am a terrible breakfast person. I'm not usually hungry first thing, and then I get distracted by feeding the kids, getting the kids dressed, all those other things. So this is really great for ensuring that I get off to a good start for the day and I don't really have to think about it. Now, it does come in so many different flavors and also has a vegan range. Now, my favorite flavor is the cold brew coffee, but this one comes in a close second. This is the classic Choco, which is in fact Richard's favorite. So don't tell him that I'm gonna be drinking this one. Now, Y Food have given us a special discount code to share with you, so if you are interested, we've popped that in the video description. Right, let's see what Rick's up to. Right. Yeah, not bad. Enjoy your walk. It was a lovely walk. What have you been doing? Did you have a shower? I had a shower. Nice. Yeah. Had had my hair cut this morning. Yeah. Good job. Looking fresh. Yeah. Looking like good. It. Yeah. So what are we doing today? Do you want to tell everyone? Yes. So we're doing something rather, well, not, maybe not exciting. Actually, we're doing something which is, what's the right word? Um, giving us a bit of anxiety. Daunting. Daunting is the right word. Yeah, daunting. Yeah. Because we are taking the lorry out and we're going to a Weybridge. So if you've been around for a while when we bought the, the, the lorry, um, you will know that one of the big issues we have is that the payload is only two tons. So we're allowed up to seven and a half. We currently weigh five and a half. We've only got two to play with. So we're like midway through the build. We're going to get it weighed and see where we are on that. So I'm a little bit nervous. This is like make <laughs> or break. This is really bad. And also it's Kira's first time. It, it is. I've yeah. not actually been in the lorry uh, in the front cab as a passenger. No. So I'm going to get to see your driving for the first time. Well, no, it's not my driving. Well, it's, driving it's the lorry. Dri driving the lorry, yeah. yeah. So we'll see. Get anyway, I'm brushing brush. my teeth. And <laughs> the kids are not here, and Kira packed our toothpaste, so I have to use big teeth, six to eight years old. Yeah, I've already had it. It's all right. It's not bad. Yeah.
I don't know what's taking Rick so bleeding long, but he's faffing around outside doing something, so I'll go and take a look. What are you doing? Are we ready? Huh? I thought we were ready to go. In a minute. Um, right, so yeah, I want to put ah. our Fairford fridge and cooker in there because what I want to do is just get as much stuff in there as possible and then I know what the weight is. You see, so I could probably easily look up what the weight is online. Yeah, you probably could do that. Yeah, should we do that? No, it's not as much fun. Chuck it in. We'll chuck it in. <laughs> yeah. I have to carry it. They're not, actually too, they're not actually too heavy. But we are running on the drag. We so are always running on the drag. That's why I'm <laughs> doing my lovely run. <laughs> we are never on time for anything. Right, we're ready to go. We are ready, finally. Oh. Control, I'm just sitting here 56 miles an hour because that is the fastest we can go and this is going to be beautiful. Nice and steady, nice, nice and, and steady. easy. See if I can get the miles to the gallon. Let's have a look. Right, so we've just arrived at the public way bridge. We're just trying to figure out where we're actually supposed to go at the minute. Yeah, no, she said carry on going down straight. Straight ahead. No, I think it does say, does it say way bridge there? I don't think it does, but I'm sure we'll figure that out. And then it's really the moment of truth. There we go, we think we've spotted it just straight ahead of us. It's like all, um, I don't know how you describe that, but this is the way bridge. On we go. Now yeah. if you get out, it'll weigh a little bit less. He's nervous now, he's not talking. I know, I'm, <laughs> I'm exceptionally <laughs> nervous about this. Right, I'll go in and... Uh... Good luck. Yeah. So we're obviously sat on this way bridge now. So Rick's just gone in to reception and he'll pay the £10, I think it is, and then he'll get a little printout and that printout will basically say how much the vehicle weighs at this point in time. And we're obviously hoping that it's good news. There he is, look. Just spotted him. He's looking at it. <laughs> oh no, I'm scared. I'm terrified. Huh? I'm scared. Okay. I feel like it's not good news. Uh, I think it's okay news. Okay. We weigh, so we're allowed up to seven and a half ton and we weighed five and a half ton. Yeah. Um, when we bought it and we're now at six one. So everything we've done okay. so far, we've added in 600 kg. So we've still think, got 1.4 tonnes to play with. I don't think that's too bad. I Do think you? that's pretty good. Yeah, okay. Okay, geez, that was... I think, to be honest, we talked last week about stress. That just... <laughs> that didn't help. <laughs> geez, that was... Yeah, okay, so overall, some, some good news, I think. Um, so as I said, we're allowed up to seven and a half tonnes. Yeah. Um, and that's max, that's absolutely everything. And 
we were 5'5 five, five when we bought it. And it's now 6'1 you here. say. And we're now 6'1 so we've added in uh, we've added in 600 kgs yeah. um, from what we've done so far. Now there's obviously some, still some bits to do. Um, and all our stuff. And all of our stuff. However, I don't think, I think the rest of the build probably has maybe another 600 kg. Yeah, yeah, I think maybe. so. Yeah. Um, which would bring us up to what, six, seven? Yeah. Which would give us, what, 800 kgs? Yeah, to, to actually play with on yeah. just us. You have to remember that it's us as well. Like, you're already in the vehicle. But so you weren't. I weren't, but I'm light as a feather. <laughs> uh, I'm just a and then we've chicken. got Charlie and the kids, so obviously that yeah. weight, and then water weight to go in. So, you know, we, are, we do have to be oh, careful. We do have to be a little bit careful, yeah, okay. So, yeah, so what I've got is I've got a spreadsheet on my iPad and it has all my estimated weights so I can now look at that and go what have we added and what have, haven't we and I can look at the 6-1 add everything on and see where we are because water alone is a 200 kg yeah so yeah if we've got another 600 in the build do we have 600 in the build probably I don't know it's a hard one yeah so we've probably got 600 in the build um, yeah, that'll take us to 6, 7, that'll leave 800, 200 is going to be for water at full tank, which you never really have, you really sort of mark these as half a tank stuff, yeah, no, I think we're good, okay, I think good. we're good, I think we're in a good position, that's, that's good. So where are we heading to now? Oh, I need a beer, I think, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Can't um, drink drive, babe. <laughs> Uh, where are we heading to? Uh, we are going to nip into some shops. So we want to go to Dunnell Mill. Dunnell so uh, Mill. I'm pretty sure I can get this into a car parking space. Yeah, let's give it a go. <laughs> right, let's see how easy this is then. Parking see how up. easy it is to park. Parking up in a retail park. We can get it in. We're in, in just a few. Let's count them. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Lake of Glove. It's only five spaces. Ah, it's perfect, isn't it? Plenty of room. Well, look, we could stealth camp here. No one would know. So we took a quick look around Dunnell, mainly looking for bathroom inspiration. We need to try and figure out some sort of storage for in there and something to sit the sink on. We then popped into Wix for some more ply. Okay, guys, that is us back at the campsite. Had a nice run out, didn't we? It was good, nice day out. It was out. very nice, peaceful without the children. Uh, but we are now going to jump in the van and go get the children and restore chaos. This morning we dropped the big kids off at kids club first thing and so we were just left with our teddy. Where are we going? Where? Yeah? What are you going to do when we get back? Help Daddy! Help Daddy! Yay! Yeah, we've got a, a busy day of work ahead, so let's get cracking. Home sweet home! Hello! Hello! How's it going? Not bad. Good, what are you working on? Just another panel, so I've only got one little tiny cut to do on this one with the dreaded jigsaw. With the jigsaw, this one. Well, I don't know, I could plunge it. You say, is everyone going to tell you off again for using the jigsaw? I know, I'll get told off not using the right tools again. <laughs> they haven't seen me using a circular saw. <laughs> They'll be grateful I'll be using the jigsaw. Nice, so is this part of the kitchen or something? Yeah, this is the sort of the backboard to the kitchen, so it's the framing. Well, not okay. framing, it's the, yeah. The wall. Basically, Ooh, what do they call it paneling. So paneling, paneling, yeah, yeah paneling the wall up. Yeah. Okay, cool. So yeah, five and a half mil ply. We're using five and a half mil for pretty much all of the paneling, um, because we've created a really nice flat surface. Nice. Yeah. By thirty mil insulation, thirty mil yeah. batten. Mm -hmm. So we've got this really flat surface. So this just goes on it, screws onto the battens. 
Someone did uh, um, want remind him what the ins what insulation we've used in in the lorry, so I couldn't oh, remember. Right, we've used Celatex 30 mil, so you won't find 30 mil off the shelf. You have to go online. But I would say if you're getting lots of insulation, go online. There's a website. We're not affiliated, but um, Insulation for Less is where we got ours. Um, you get bulk orders and you get it way, way cheaper than you'll get it in the DIY stores. There we are, top tip. What's wrong with you? I want to move. Where do you want to go? Teddy, where's my cup of tea? Is that what we've got to do now, do you think? Yeah. Right, let's get a cup of tea and a coffee on. So Rick and the kids made these gorgeous little oat bars yesterday. No bake, because we've got no oven, so they just don't even need the fridge, they just sat on the side. So it's just like, I think it was oats, peanut butter, and then Rick drizzled the chocolate on top. So we've got one of them each now. Hey, that's my one. But that's a big one. No. All right, then you can have a big one. <laughs> Don't leave me with a small one. Oh, I've got the small one. I'm not gonna lie, they are really good. Make some more, more friends. Yeah. You're quite the you like making friends. Oh, cool. Yeah, you make friends with the ladies. Oh. <laughs> Older ladies. Older ladies. Can you put any more water in mine? Yeah. Really? I'm never happy. I fill it up, what's wrong with it? If I'm in a coffee shop and that's the tea they gave me, I'd be like... Well, one, it's not a coffee shop, and one, two, it's not coffee. Are you filming that? Yeah. Filming my complaints to Yeah, her. I am. Well then, let's give yourself some more water. Better now? Yeah, absolutely. Don't mess with an Englishman's tea. So, before we get started today, I think it's probably best that I show you where we're up to now. So. Been here yesterday, did some painting, started painting in the shower. So you can see the shower's now got a coat of primer on it. But basically Rick has gone round um, and put what I think look like little duck's feet everywhere. <laughs> He's filled in all the holes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate on sanding those first today and he's also done it over at the back here on this wall which we put up ages ago but hadn't done any of the filling. So you can see there's just dots everywhere for me to sand. Oh, let's have a look at this beautiful colour. You take your coat off and raise that smile. The one I'm heard of for a thousand miles. We share a future, just like the past. The good and bad times are going to last. Well, there's a whole lot of This is the bathroom. Ignore this bit here, you'll see there is holes. And we'll, we'll keep that bit of a surprise actually, but we're gonna be having something here, which means that we have to cut out part of the wood there. But yeah, I'm quite happy with the color. It's almost the thing sort of like when you when you see the tin and you start painting, you're not sure and yeah. I like it, I like it very much. What do you think, Piper? Good. Good, yeah? Yeah. You're back from Kids Club, how was it? Good fun? Yeah, good fun. Good. And what what, what top are you rocking today? Um, van Life. Van Life. Cool check. So yeah. It'll be actually more better if we had a lorry life then. One. A lorry life one? Yeah. Maybe we could design one. Yeah. Good thinking. And for those of you who might still be wondering, we did actually manage to free the spatula that was stuck behind the bathroom door. Thanks for watching this week's video guys. Don't forget to hit like, leave us a comment and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We'll be back next Sunday as always with a brand new video.